So now that you know how to measure angles, there's another way to measure angles depending on the type of information that they give you. So for these two examples, we don't even need to use a protractor because they're giving us enough information that we can actually take what they're giving us and either add or subtract to find the answer. So for this first problem over here, uh, the black lines are measuring, or the black numbers are measuring the spaces in between the lines, and the question mark just means that's what we're trying to figure out. Uh, the red line is how much all of that angle is um, together. So we need to figure out if we need to add or subtract to find that question mark. So we know that this angle is 80 degrees, and we know that the whole thing is 130 degrees. So we're trying to figure out what's the difference between the total and the amount that they give us, and that's going to give us the answer to our problem. So we're going to take the 130, and we're going to take the 80. And if we just look at this, and we're trying to figure out this in here, we're going to know that the number should be smaller than 80, and it's definitely smaller than 30, because this angle is not as big as that angle. So that right there should tell you that it needs to be a smaller number. And whenever we're working with trying to make things smaller, it's usually subtraction. So when we're trying to find a part of a bigger angle, we're going to subtract it. So as we subtract this, we borrow, and that becomes 50. So this is 50 degrees. Now, if we are given two angles and we're trying to figure out the total of both of those angles, well, let's write those down. We have 60 and we have 50. And we're trying to figure out the total. Total should be your keyword to know that you are trying to figure out a problem that involves addition. Because we're going to add this angle, we're going to add this angle, and we're going to get the total of both of those angles. So 60 plus 50 is 110. So we have 110 degrees sure that looks like the degrees give you something that looks like this where they'll give you a total but they won't give you any of the numbers down here but they actually are giving you a hint because you know how much this angle is you're trying to figure out what that angle is we don't know what that is yet um, so you have to look for some clues or some hints that are gonna give you some help on this one well there's that little square that I see most often whenever I see a right angle sometimes they won't show that but sometimes they will um, but whenever you see that you know that it is 90 degrees. So I'm going to get my 130 and I'm going to subtract my 90. So this angle right here is 40 degrees. So 40 degrees is my answer. And that is learning how to join and separate angles using addition and subtraction.